Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and we're going to dive into Gods Unchained and I'm going to play a match and explain how to play while I'm playing. So if you're new to Gods Unchained and you want to check it out, there is a link in the description below. It is a referral link. I will get a percentage of any packs you buy. But once you sign up, you will have that referral link for yourself and you can get all your friends to start playing and get percentages of packs they buy. That's just one way to make money in God's Unchained. But let's not waste any more time and dive into some footage. So we're gonna be using this Deception deck. Now you can see that I am Orc Gold. So I'm decently high up in the rankings. Once I get the Solar Gold, there's nothing left but Diamond and Mythic. So I'm about four from the top. And you can see I, I've been fighting around in this Oric Gold to sol Solar Gold rankings. The rankings are important because to get more Gods tokens, you want to be higher ranked. And to get more packs as well, NFT packs. You have to be Purified Iron or higher to receive Gods tokens. So if you're starting out new, you want to really grind it out. Get to that Purified Iron so you can keep getting Gods tokens. And uh, also keep getting NFTs weekly. So we're going to hop in here and we're going to play a match. So they've got really nice graphics, something that I noticed right away with this game. I mean, this is a very nice detailed painting. I, I don't know if it's actual painting or, you know, the digital graphic. But either way, very nice graphics here on Aona, the goddess of nature. So sometimes it takes a little bit to load. The game is still in beta, so... Okay, so I'm playing this guy. He's a rank 7, so I gotta win this match. So at the beginning of the game, your god has three powers that you can choose from that you can use every turn. So I, I always go with this normally, uh, especially against the nature decks. Because it adds a one mana card from their opponent's domain to my hand. So basically I get any random one mana card from nature. So this is my hand I've drawn. These are all very high mana, so to start the game, I do not want these. So you can replace some of your cards. That's better. That's a one mana. Eh, let's see. Okay. Let's let's just pop him to and see. So you get four charges, I think it is. Yeah, so there we go. I got another one mana card to start the game off. I don't like to start with really high mana cards because it costs mana. And as you can see... On your first turn, you don't you do you don't start out with a lot of mana. You start out with one. This is your mana will. This mana will is going to be how you keep track of how much mana you have to play. So we've got one. I'm going to throw him down, but you also have these extra manas here that you can trigger to add a mana back in there. So if you go first, like she did, or he, whoever he is, but the nature god, they've already used they're one mana. You only get one extra mana going first. If you go second, you get three extra mana. And that's just because of an advantage you get from going first. It kind of balances out, makes it a little bit more even. I played this one mana. She's hidden, which means that she cannot be messed with. All right. And then I played this guy. He's a pickpocket. He's got order three. Order basically just means the card is frozen. There's not a lot anybody can do to it. There's some damage that can damage a creature with order, but not very many. So he's just pretty much locked up. Order three, so that's three turns. He's got one turn left, that little blue one, before he's unlocked. So he's got out this big jaguar here that's doing quite a bit of damage. The five is his health, the three is his attack. So green for health on the right of the card. The orange with the weapons is the attack but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop him right in the face right to the gods face there and I'm gonna drop this wall here this wall has front line and with front line enemies must attack that first before they can attack anything else so he has to hit this wall before he can hit any of these creatures or hit my god 
Now you can see he's buffing. He buffed the health to a six, buffed the attack to a four from this card right here. See roar, roar as soon as you is an effect that goes into play as soon as you play the card. So as soon as he played it down, it gave this creature a plus one one buff to health and attack. So he took out my wall with that jaguar. That jaguar is a problem. We got to get out of there. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop that same card he did. Buff this girl here. Is it my 27? Is that 23? Yeah, and we're going to use this card. It does 2 damage. And we're going to pop that Jaguar. Hit him there. And then hit him there. And we're going to get that big guy off the board. So now it's not quite as lopsided because I am not drawing any big creatures yet the, this deck doesn't draw very big creatures in the beginning it just kind of wastes time messes around hits for a little bit of damage to face so the whole point of the game is to get the other god down to zero this is their health if you hadn't really figured that out yet and now this is your god power mine's right here but you can see her god power costs one mana and gets one strength and regen to one creatures until the end of your opponent's turn. So that's a very strong <laughs> god power. Only costs one mana, where mine costs two to draw the one mana card from an opponent. So he's wiped my board here. It's got four creatures out, but none of them are that strong besides this one, so I'm not too concerned about it yet. We'll just throw another wall down there and I'm gonna use my god power get one more card this card is not great <sighs> but that's the, what that's the price you pay for getting random cards sometimes they're not that good like it'll confuse all these enemies which could be good but we'll see Let's see if I even use it most of the time I get this I don't use it all right this guy just used one of the brokenest cards. <laughs> the aspect of Penguin has three armor. So you see how there's this little armor with a three. So with the armor, the damage that you do has to be over three to do any damage to this creature. If you swing with a two attack creature, it's not going to hurt this thing at all. If you throw a spell, that's a two that's a two damage spell, or even a three damage spell, it's not going to hurt this creature at all. So, I'm getting whooped here, but I don't want him to get too many other creatures out, so I'm going to play these barrels, and it's going to summon these three barrels on his side of the board. So now, you can only have six creatures out at once, so now I've got three of his spots on his board locked with these barrels. And when these barrels, these barrels get burn, burn is fire damage basically, so every turn they burn one to their health. Now, once they blow up, they have afterlife, deal two damage to that god. So, once those blow up, that's going to do, you know, six damage. But I like these because they lock up the board as well. It keeps my opponent from playing too many monsters. So, we're still not in a great spot. I am going to play this just to confuse her creatures. So, I can't really do much else um, I'm going to pop this mana too and get another card so that actually was a decent draw from him I got a little one mana rat that deals one damage so that'll come in handy but he does have some strength on the board so five two and one that's going to be eight at least I'm going to take to the face here and he's buffing with the one mana so it'll be nine to the face so I may lose this match because I'm having a hard time drawing the creatures I need, the monsters I need to slow all this down up here. So let's go ahead and play the rat and wipe this guy out. Oh, it's random. So he hit the armor guy. That sucks. Yeah. I'm actually going to put him down. He's going to be hidden. Let's see, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna be close. Yeah. So your creatures fall asleep. I forgot to mention that the first time you play them. 
They are asleep on the board until your next turn, and then they are able to wake up. Now, there's some creatures with a power called Blitz, which can attack another creature the first turn you play them, but you can't attack a god with that. So, he just killed that rat. That rat ended up being useless because it hit that one with the armor, and, and he just wiped it. Ooh, so there's a three to the face, five to the face. He's still got five mana, but his board still... Yeah, so he had to switch turns. He's got cards in his hand, had mana, but with those barrels, he wasn't able to play any more monsters. So hopefully that delayed enough for me to have a comeback. You can see there, them bombs exploding. Alright, so this guy here I played that was hidden. At the start of my turn, he has a random weapon, so I got this spear from him. So we're going to buff him. We're going to take her out. She's doing too much. Um, and then... I'm still too damaged. Go ahead and take him out. Uh, and I'm going to... I'm going to play this guy. I was able to get some off the board, but this creature here, every time he summons a creature, he gets one strength. I could have took it out, but that other one would have killed me that turn if I didn't take it out. So I kind of had to. So this creature has Blitz, so he's probably going to Blitz this guy here. Yeah, he's going to kill him. See, this is a problem too. I got to get this off the board. But I got to do four damage to get it off the board because of that armor. So he just pulled a, a spell from over here on the favor. You gain favor as you hit the gods and destroy creatures. He had enough to buy one of these, about 15. I'm at 8. So we'll see if I can get anything. Ugh, no, this is not looking good for me here. So if I can draw anything from him that might help. It's not going to help much. And again, that random damage hit the one with the armor instead of anything else. So if I attack with this to any of these creatures, it's going to kill me. Because when you attack with a weapon and you attack a creature, you're going to have to take their attack damage to the face. So I can't use it for that. And I can't swing at the face yet until next turn. So, see that weapon has Blitz just like that Viking did. So, we'll click over here. Now, these little holes here, this is going to be uh, your void where your cards go after you play them. So, you can go back there and look. Yeah, I just got killed. Nothing I can do there. Can't win them all. But, you can see, get nice experience when you're up in this level. And that is not going to count against me or for me. Well, it will count against me, but I'm still able to hold an auric gold here. So I need to win another match. So I'm going to change decks and let's uh, try one more match. So this deck is a war deck with the war god. Usually pretty aggressive. I like to use it to try to get some fast wins when I take a loss like that. But that deck has been pretty good. The one I just lost with, pretty pretty w wins pretty consistently. That match just was tough. He got all the cards he needed, and I was drawing pretty sad. So again, looking at the graphics, just really good graphics, and on the cards too. For a TCG, this has really good graphics compared to a lot of them. Even Magic, uh, I actually prefer these graphics over a lot. All right, so we're going to get rid of that hammer. We don't need that right away, and we want to go low. That's a pretty good card, but I don't want to start out with one, two, threes. There we go. One, two, three. I like, I like that. We're starting out with a one, a two, and a three. So as this mana builds, because each turn, I forgot to say this last game, but each turn your mana unlocks one more. Now once you get up into seven mana right here 
And you may not be able to see it because it's really light, but there's a line right through the set of seven mana. So it actually takes two turns to unlock that seven. And then once you get to eight and nine, you see eight has three little bars. So it's going to take three turns to unlock eight mana. And then there's four bars in nine. So it'll take four bars to unlock nine mana. Most games don't last that long, but sometimes they can. So he's starting out with a big boy already. Heavy boy, four, four health. To attack to start the game off. Uh, I'm just going to. I don't want to. I don't want to drop him yet. I'm actually going to use one of my mana and use my God power for two mana. It deals two damage to his God, so pretty nice and an aggressive deck to keep the pressure applied. Because he's going to hit me for this too, maybe even three damage. He's got two of them out now. And I drew that hammer anyway. So I'm going to drop him. And then I'm going to pop one more mana. And this Viking here gives a friendly Viking one health. So see at the bottom it says Viking. This guy is a Viking too. Most of the creatures in this deck are Vikings. But that buffed him one health. Putting him out of death range for these guys. Unless he directly attacks with both of them. But that would weaken them quite a bit. Well, he could buff with his god power. I didn't think about that. So, yeah, he's going to kill it. A little, little bit of a misplay, but because of that thing taking damage, the Viking that just died, it buffed his strength. Oh, he's got a spell. So it's going to kill that. So, cleared my whole little plan there I was doing. All right, this is a Blitz creature. We're going to throw her and take this guy out right now. So, we want to keep his board clear. And then, uh, that's, eh. yeah, let's keep the pressure and keep us even here at 26 using that God power for two more damage. He's going to kill this, but it'll at least put it to a two health. Good sacrifice taking out that other one. And if he attacks this one, doing some damage there. And now if he, <laughs> now if he, if he doesn't attack this and he attacks straight to the face, then uh, that's I'm gonna I'm gonna punish him for that. No, here he goes. He got a Viking. He's gonna blitz with that Viking. Oh no, he did attack with that one. Interesting. That was to me that seems like a misplay unless he's trying to keep this Viking for some reason. I would have took that out. So yeah, let's go with this. This is a Viking. Long ship, it's got blitz and it's got flank. So flank, as you can see there, after any character attacks this turn, this attacker can flank and ignore front line or back line. So there's none of that out there, but I want to figure out who I should kill here. And I think we should probably kill this guy. He's a very strong character. So I'm, I'm again leaving my my board open here to take damage, but got to keep him from getting completely set up because that guy is a very strong card so getting getting a little damage to the face but we're still close oh big buffalo big old oh not buffalo rhino it's a rhino not a buffalo I can put some work in well, let's drop this. It's got protected, so you can see this yellow circle around it. Protection, as it says right there, stops the next source of damage this thing will take. So it is protected for one attack. We have nothing else to play, so let's just keep the pressure with this, keeping the game close. That two damage god power. These nature decks get creatures out so fast. A lot of war decks do the same thing, but my war deck is a little bit slower to get going. But once it gets going, it can really start hitting. So I just need to keep his board somewhat clean for another couple turns to get to this six mana to where I can play some of these big boys. So let's see if he sacrifices. Well, that's not a bad sacrifice there as that took three damage to this big boy. Oof, another, another big boy out. 
got to draw something. Okay. He's going to play a monster. It's going to let's draw a card here soon. So another Viking ship. Ugh. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Sacrificing that Viking ship. Not, not happy about it, but I'm going to... It's not much I can do. I'm drawing bad. It's gotten all these low mana creatures out early. I was not able to clear. So now he's starting to get his bigger creatures out. Maybe this time of day I shouldn't be playing. Maybe playing some super gamers uh, across the world right now. <laughs> so I'm getting whooped. Yeah, I'm going to be about dead after this turn. I don't think there's any way I can turn it around here. All right, that helps a little bit. And he's going to he just pulled another creature from the sanctum over here with his favor, so he's got a full board. And I've only got 4 health left. So there's really not much I can do here. He's going to kill me. But let's see what we can do. So I'm going to swing at this thing. That's a frontline bull. So now it's front lines out of the way. Well, he's just going to kill me next turn. It's really really pretty bad. Um, I'll drop him for no reason. But you'll see. He's just got to swing for four damage. And that's it. Yep. There it is. So. <laughs> losing again here. But even when you lose, you still get experience getting closer to a pack. Looks like once again I did not drop out of gold. So that is nice. But that is pretty much how you play the game. Not too complicated. There's just some different effects and mechanics that you'll have to learn and get a little bit better at. But it becomes a lot easier the more games you play. And the great thing about it is the more games you play... The more cards you can unlock from leveling up, the higher you'll get in the rankings to get better packs. And you'll also be able to get those gods tokens. So I'm not really a big gamer. I do like to play some games here and there. But this game actually pays out in cryptocurrency. So that's why I'm so big on it. And I'm going to continue to do content on this game and follow this project closely because I like it a lot. And it is paying out pretty decently for now. I've gotten 20 tokens so far, 20 gods tokens over the last couple of weeks, last two weeks of playing in the Blessing of the Gods event. They're about $5 right now, so that's 100 bucks in two weeks that I made just from playing and earning the gods tokens. But that doesn't count in all of the different NFTs that I have that are gaining in value as the game grows. So... So many different ways to make money with this game and, and that's why I'm going to continue to keep putting out content on this game. Now if you want to see me play Gods Unchained live, let me know down in the comments, say Gods Live and maybe I'll start doing some live stream playing and maybe even on the weekends for the weekend event I might live stream some of those matches. So let me know if you guys are enjoying the Gods content, plenty more where this came from a lot more that we need to cover so if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button appreciate everybody joining as always stay safe out there until next time